Welcome to Tiger and Cat channel. Hello, I'm Kemi Kong, your chemistry teacher. Please do remember subscribe, like and share my channel. Today we are going to discuss about past year chapter 4 chemical bonding. Question number 19. This is the question 19 in KMPK tutorial book. It's question 2017-2018 PSPM SK016 question 6. Let's check the question. Sodium bicarbonate is used in baking as raisin agent. When dissolved in water, the salt dissociate into ions. So for these two sentences, actually there is no question. But you have to take note into ions. Meaning that for the next, we check iron again. So for this question, we are discuss about iron compound. So first, write, actually write the Lewis structure that is same as draw the Lewis structure for this iron and draw its risonan structure. Risonan structure meaning that we need to represent the structure by using double-headed arrow. Please take note. Next, determine. Okay, determine state actually is a short answer question. But before we determine, right, there are few steps we need to follow. Let's check later. Shape and the hybridization of central atoms. Central atoms, meaning that more than one. Okay, and then draw and label with the overlapping of orbital to show the formation of its covalent bond. Orbit, uh, the overlapping of the orbital means like hybridization diagram. Okay, B, metallic compound has some physical properties which are different from covalent bond. Okay, this is uh, just information. Now the question one state four properties, very clear, four properties, each properties one mark. And relate these properties to the metallic bond. So mean that when you relate one of the properties to metallic bond, another one mark. Okay, so you need to relate these four properties with metallic bond. Okay. We start with Lewis structure. So first of all, right, you must identify the central atom. Over here, there are two. One is oxygen, another one is carbon. So as usual, the first step, calculate the total number of valence electron after determining the central atom. So one, six, four, six times two, and then don't forget neg negative one, you need to add one. So total, there are 24 valence electron. Okay, step two, form the skeletal with the terminal atom. So total, there are four bonding pair. Four bonding pair times two equal to eight. 24 minus x equal to 16. Next, have to ensure that the terminal atom of that, yes, 6, 6, 4. So, minus 16. Okay, for hydrogen to black, huh? now you check. There is no remaining electron, but carbon haven't achieved of that yet. Now, you have to form double bond by using the lone pair of the oxygen. You can use this one or either this one, both also can. So after you form, you check 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times 2, 8. Now, carbon achieve octet. So this is the correct Lewis structure. Don't forget, there is a negative charge. So your Lewis structure must break it with negative 1. So one mark for the Lewis structure. Okay, next, for the risonan structure. So I can form double bond over here. I also can form the double bond over here. It's the same. So for this risonan structure, you have to represent by double-headed arrow. Okay, maybe some of you might ask, hey, why I draw like this is different with the Lewis structure? Because I know already, two bonding pair, two lone pair, total four electron pair. So it's tetrahedral. So the molecular geometry. So this structure actually is showing the molecular geometry. And for this one, one bonding pair, two bonding pair, three bonding pair, trigonal plana. That's why the shape is 120 degree trigonal plana. So as discussed just now, there are two central atoms. So I know this is tetrahedral, AB4 tetrahedral for the electron pair arrangement. Two bonding pair plus two lone pair equal to four tetrahedral. And then for carbon three, three bonding pair. So total equal to three electron pair, so trigonal plana as well. And then for the shape, this one, there is no lone pair. That's why trigonal plana. For oxygen, there are two lone pairs, that's why the shape is V shape or bent. Okay, next about the orbital diagram. For this case, we just focus on central atom. So for carbon, 2s2, 2p2, 4 valence electron, you check 1, 
two. You need to form, oh, sorry, over here. One, two, three. You need to form three sigma bond and one pi bond. That's why you need to excite it. The, two, the, the one of the electron from the 2s orbital excited to the 2p orbital. And then there are four unpaired electrons for the excited state. Three will form... Uh, three electron pair will hybridize become sp2 hybrid state of carbon another one is for pi bond which is unhybridized 2p orbital so the type of hybridization for carbon is sp2 okay for oxygen there are two lone pair two bonding pair total equal to six so you check bonding a uh, lone pair lone pair so it's enough lone pair lone pair and here for the bonding pair, unpaired electron to form the sigma bond with hydrogen this one unpaired of electron to form the sigma bond with carbon so it hybridized the S and P orbital from the sp3 hybrid orbital. So the type of hybridization for oxygen is sp3. Okay, if the question asks or use the word describe or explain hybridization or overlapping, right? Then you must show the orbital diagram for the terminal atom as well. Huh? Okay, very fast we go through here. Um, if the terminal atom, right, so just focus on ground state, so hydrogen is 1s. And then for this terminal, 2s2, 2p, 2. Okay. And then for this one, actually is oxygen and ion. Because if we check the formal charge, right, uh, for this oxygen is negative 1. Okay, the negative 1 is belong to this oxygen. So it's 2s2, 2p. Free. Yeah, you can try it by yourself. Okay, so how to draw the hybridization diagram for um, HOCOO2 negative ion? So, in this case, right, make sure you draw the correct Lewis structure. So, for here, there are two central atoms, O and C. So, um, this hybridization diagram, we just focus for the central atom uh, and then the terminal no need to hybrid because according to your syllabus, okay, terminal atom no need to hybrid but no worry, if you know how to hybrid, you can proceed with the hybridization later I will show you another example, uh, another answer So, for here, I check for uh, carbon first So, this is the carbon So, 1 bonding, 2 bonding, 3 bonding So, it's sp2 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 I will draw this first because this involves pi bond. When you draw the hybridization diagram, focus on pi bond first. Because you can draw a nice pi bond parallel. Okay, so don't forget label. Huh? So this is carbon. And then there are one, two, three, three oxygen atoms. I encourage you all label one by one. So since this is a central atom, so this is O1, this is O2, this is O3. Okay, so this is central atom, O1. Okay, so I formed the pi bond with the O2, so this is O2, so automatically another one is O3. So I label for all the atoms. Okay, now I proceed. So I form the sigma bond, okay, a pair of electron and I label sigma with the O2. And then the O2 is 2p orbital, and then it will form the pi bond up, down. And then label 2p, 2p. So, 1 loops equal to 1, 2p. So, you just need to label 2p for once is enough. Huh? And then the overlap, sideway overlap for pi bond. So, here label 1, pi bond. Okay, check for here, done. Okay, next we go for this one. This one is the O3. O3, because this is terminal, I just show 2p is enough. And then here form sigma. Okay, next. Okay, this is another central atom, O1. 1, 2, 2 bonding, 2 lone pair. So, total 4. So the, side, the, the shape must be tetrahedral. So it looks like tetrahedral. Eh? So tetrahedral, here form sigma. And then here sp3, tetrahedral. sp3, sp3, sp3. And then here form the sigma bond okay, with the uh, 1s orbital of hydrogen atom. Okay, the mark will be given for the shape. So check, this one, the central atom, is it tetrahedral? Yes. And then this carbon, is it trigonal planar? Yes, shape. And then next we check for, for all the label. Okay, label means oxygen 2C, oxygen 3, oxygen 1, hydrogen, and then the 2P orbital, 2P, 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 sp2, 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 sp3, 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 sp3. And then we'll check for the bonding. So the label for the bonding, sigma over here, sigma over here, pi over here, 
sigma over here, sigma over here. So this is the way to draw the hybridization diagram. Just hybrid for the central atom without hybridization for the terminal atom. Okay, so this is the answer for the hybridization diagram included terminal atom. So previous one just focus on central atom. This one show everything. So the central atom is the C and the O1. Okay, so make sure that all the shape, if you want to show all the set, all the hybridization for the terminal and central atom, make sure all the shape is correct. So for example, the O2 is trigonal plana, O3 is tetrahedral, C is trigonal plana, and then the O1 is tetrahedral. So marks will be given for the correct shape. And then make sure label for the all the sp2, 2p orbital, everything. So sp3 for 4, sp3 for 4, sp2 for 3, sp2 for 3, and then the 2p, 2p pure orbital, and then the 1s orbital. And then the hydrogen atom, O1, O3, carbon, O2 for the label. And then you must show the lone pair, lone pair for the uh, lone pair, and then the pair of electron for the sigma, and then the pair of electron for the pi bond, and everything, all the electron pair must show clearly, so in order to get free marks. So here are the extra points for revision purpose. If the question asks you to explain or describe, right, you have to show all the explanation over here. Okay, you have to state clearly what kind of orbital. So we use, uh, I try to explain one example. Okay, point number one is over here. So the sp2, what type of orbital? Hybrid orbital of carbon atom is overlapped with the sp2 of O2 atom to form the sigma bond. Okay, if pi bond is pure, so we look at 0.5. So you can mention pure 2p orbital or unhybridized 2p orbital of carbon atom is overlap with another 2p orbital of O1 atom. So means uh, the O1, okay, not O1, it's the O2. O2 to form a pi bond. Okay, uh, and then you check for point for this one, point number three. Okay, for this, right? The O3 no longer is atom. The O3 for here actually is ion. So you must mention the sp3 hybrid orbital of the O3 ion. If you check the formal charge, the negative one is belong to this O3. So you must mention it's O3 ion. Next, we need to discuss the properties of matter. There are four. The first one is malleability. It is the ability of a matter to be hammered into shape. Second is ductility. Okay, it's the ability of a matter to be drawn into wire if in molybdenum is cumuloran. Then electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity. Matter are the good conductor of electricity and heat. So while you explain these four, is when you state these four properties, right? You need to further explain in order to get to answer the question for part two. Relate them with the metallic bonding. So over here, both of them with the same concept. When they want to, when we need to explain in terms of metallic bonding. So before an external force is applied, the metal atoms are arranged orderly. When sufficient force or any stress is applied to the metal, one layer of atom can slide over another layer without disrupting or breaking the metallic bond. That's why it's able to hammer into shape and drawn into wire. Okay, for contact. The good conductor, you explain when an electrical potential is applied to the white metal, the mobile electron, because you keep on saying right, the electron is free to move around. So the mobile electron will move towards the positive, the positive terminal and thus conduct electricity. Okay, for good conductor of heat, right? When heat is applied, one end for one end of the matter, the kinetic energy of the electron increases. Then it's that this is then transmitted from a hot part to cold part in metal lattice by the system of delocalized mobile electrons. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel. See you again. Thank you.